Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video and welcome to the second weapon demo of the day. Today is all about Greatsword and Longsword and if you haven't already seen the Greatsword video then make sure you check that one out on the channel. But in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Longsword. Now if you guys do enjoy this video then it would be super awesome if you could hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Now just like in the last video, before I start talking over the whole thing, I want to show you the weapon demo in all its glory. Firstly, it seems like all these weapon demos are going to follow a similar theme. They begin with a basic intro to the weapon itself. So it basically just explains what Longsword is all about. So if you guys have played Monster Hunter before, which I'm sure you have, then you know all about this. The one thing I do want to call out, however, is the armor set the Hunter is wearing. This is not an armor set I've seen before, and it's also not one that's kind of easy to link to any of the monsters we've seen so far. It's clearly not from one of the flagship monsters because we've seen those from the Famitsu magazine, and it's also not from the new Owl monster we saw the other day, so this could well be a brand new set from a currently unannounced monster. Anyway, it's a weapon demo, let's move on. First up, we have the guild style. Once again, this is the style you'll be used to if you've played Monster Hunter before. This is for people that don't particularly want to mix it up, they don't want to go Aerial, Bushido or Striker or anything like that. They just want to keep it down to basics, keep it traditional, keep it to what they're used to. So for the most part, there's nothing I really need to talk about in this particular section. Once again, you do get a look at the new elemental slashes that are these kind of clear crosses on the screen. So it looks like this weapon is also dealing ice damage and you also get to see that nice new armor from different angles. So with that out of the way, now let's take a look at the next hunting style. This is Longsword using the Aerial style. So again, just like you saw in the Greatsword video if you've already seen that, then rolling towards the monster allows you to jump up and use the monster as an actual platform to springboard you further into the air. This then allows you to get over its back and you can obviously use this for a mount or you can use it to get access to an area you wouldn't normally be able to. So again, if there are monsters that are high up, like for example this Brachidius, it allows you to jump up, get some damage on its back and then obviously go from there. This will be especially useful for monsters like, say, Basarios or Gravios, assuming they're in the thing, because obviously it means you can break their back a hell of a lot easier. And then let's move on to the hunting skill. So this is the one we saw in the trailer. Again, you perform a sort of slow motion, full moon slash, and then when you land it successfully, you'll see at the top, it basically maxes out your spirit gauge. And what this allows you to do is spam your spirit combo infinitely for a period of time. What's really cool is obviously in this particular situation, the longsword user doesn't currently have a charge, so they use the spamming attack to get their first white level charge. However, if you apply this on the flip side, and you already had say white, yellow or even red charge, and you then got the max hit, it would then allow you to spam a spirit combo with full charge. So in other words, you can do some pretty insane, pretty fast damage with this thing. Obviously it's only for a limited period of time, we currently don't know how long, I'd imagine if I had to hazard a guess somewhere between sort of like 10 and 20 seconds, but regardless, this is going to be awesome for longsword users. And that, my friends, is it for this weapon demo. Again, these are only short, but make sure you tune back tomorrow for the next two in the series, which will be the Sword and Shield and the Dual Swords. And again, obviously, if you haven't seen the Great Sword one already, then you can find it at the end of this video or linked in the description box down below. If you did enjoy this video, it'd be super awesome if you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.